Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys that are trying to find the fuse for the central locking or the door locks on Ford F-150 for year uh, 2009 to year 2014, that generation Ford F-150 guys. If you need to find that fuse, you may have up to two fuses. Stay with us, we'll explain where they're located, where you can buy cheap fuses from and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so you don't waste money and time. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. On this channel, you will find all the fuse videos on Ford F-150. We're going to make video for every single fuse. So if you're on the road, stuck in the middle of somewhere, you need to find a specific fuse, you can just come to the channel, search for it, find it in less than, let's say 30 seconds. You don't even need to pull your manual out of the glove box. And most of the times you will be even missing this one. Something else guys, uh, we, take cars here at the garage and we take them completely apart we fix engines transmissions bodywork we show you how to fix pretty much anything and the mechanical work guys okay electric codes and things like that can be found on our main youtube channels uh, those are all uh, our other channels and this one is our new channel where we're going to share just fuses so we can make it really convenient for you to find the information that you need now if you need to buy replacement fuses relays for your ford f-150 because do, those can be really expensive at the parts store or, or the dealership check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can get them at a really good price and quick shipping as well so let's continue Specifically, we are going to demonstrate right here guys on a 2012 Ford F-150 that we have right here But even if you have a different year that generation it will work as well We have two fuse boxes one of the fuse boxes the main fuse box is under the hood We're talking about that fuse box right here above the radiator But we need to find the one that's actually in the cabin and the one that's in the passenger side in the food well under the glove box Okay, you can see kind of like that on the right side. You remove that panel right here, you open it, and you're going to see your fuse box that will look like that. We took a picture, we zoomed it so we can clearly show you where exactly each one of those fuses is located. But before we do that, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out for central locking you need to check two fuses some of you may have only one you may have two the first fuse that you may have is row number two one two that second row from top to bottom if you, if you have a missing fuse you count the spot one two that second fuse that's known as fuse number f20 that could be one for central locking ours doesn't have that one but you may have another one which is known as fuse number f32 that's the third row one two three that third fuse that 15 amp fuse that's the one that you need to check right here hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time